Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you these Arteza pencil cases. And in my last video where I did my watercoloring pencil review from Arteza, I told you that they had sent me these pencil cases and I would do a review in a separate video. So if you're interested in pencils, watercolor pencils, go back down to the description box and you can take a look at those previous videos. But for today, I wanna to just show you these storage cases for your pencils. And these are also great for your real brush pens. These pencil cases, the two designs that Arteza carries. So you can see that you have this paint splatter pencil case. It has a purple background with all of these bright paint splatters on them. And then you have this black and white pencil case, which has the alphabet on it in the white letters, and then the background is completely black. So these are your two choices from the Arteza website. The black and white pencil case is $18.99, and the paint splatter one is $19.99. And these pencil cases, just real quick, I wanna just show you what was on the outside of the packaging. It does contain 64 elastic slots and it has a zipper closure, which I'll show you, and you can hold up to 205 pencils in each one of these cases. And it does say it's suitable for pencils, pens, and markers. So I want The fabric on these is polyester. So, and it's a very, it feels like a very good durable fabric. And you can see that the bottom of the case, it does have the Arteza brand on both of the cases. So basically both pencil cases, it doesn't matter what design you have, they are laid out the same exact way. So each of the pencil cases has a pocket here. It is a Velcro pocket. So you can see that it does have a Velcro on there. And it's a pretty flat pocket. So I mean, you can store if you had like little papers in here, maybe you stamped out some images that you want to take along and travel with you. You can put some, you know, stamped images in here so that you can take them on the go so that when you get to your destination, you can just pull them out and you can start coloring with them. So before I show you what's inside this one, I want to go ahead and just show you what an empty pencil case looks like. So you do have a handle, so you can ha hold it by the handle, okay? And the back side is completely flat, no pockets. And it does have a zipper all around the side of it. And then you can see that it has the double zipper here. So just open that up. And you have your pencil cases inside with all of your little slots for your holes. So you can see that it has these dividers. So you can put more pencils here and here. And then there's another divider. And then we'll toss those. And then your back side. So you can store all your pencils, your pens in here. And then you can zip it to close. Just make sure that all of those are tucked in. Zip this up and you have your pencil case. Now, I wanna show you what I have stored in my other one. What I've done is I've already taken all of my watercolor pencils as well as my real brush pens, which you'll see here in a minute. I've put them in this case. You can see, first of all, how thick it is. This is filled to the brim. So I just wanna show you when it's flat and there's nothing in it, you can see how thin it is. And this one, as I said, I've got this filled. Every single slot is filled and it's thick and it zips closed perfectly. I didn't have any issues with that. So I decided to put my watercolor pencils and my real brush pens in here because of the paint splatter. It just makes me think of watercolor when I see this design. So I went ahead and used that. So let's go ahead and open this up and I wanna just show you what's stored in here. So you can see these are all of my watercolor pencils and I made sure that when I put them in the slots that I can see the names on them so I can easily look to my swatch chart and find the names quickly. Now I did put three pencils per slot but if you needed to you can possibly include four pencils per slot just like that. So you can see the four here, and then if you wanted to, you can just continue along with your four. But I went ahead and did three pencils per slot. So I have, this is the 72 count of watercolored pencils by Arteza that I included in this case. Now, if you recall, 
It does have 64 slots and it will hold up to 205 pencils. Now, I do have the 72 pencils in here and that takes up this cover and then one entire panel here. I went ahead and decided to put my real brush pens. So I took my 48 count of my Arteza real brush pens and I went ahead and added them in here because these are also what I would use for watercoloring. So all of my watercoloring mediums would be in here. So my pencils and my pens. And I have all of my real brush pens in here with, I put, again, I put the names at the top so that I can quickly see them when I need to pull something out. So I have those here and along this back side. And then I went ahead and put them in this side and I also started to include some of my Zig real brush pens in here as well. I want you to notice that because I was trying to make room for my Zig Real Brush pens, I started putting three per slot. So with my Real Brush pens, notice over here, I have two per slot and they lay out perfectly. If you needed to get three per slot, you can do that. It's just gonna be a little bit more crunched on your pens. And the only reason I did that was because I was trying to have, I had a certain amount of Zig pens that I wanted to get in here. So I went ahead and kind of crunched those up in here so that I could put my zigs in here. So then on the whole back side, I have the rest of my zig collection. So you can see that with the zigs, I went three per slot. And if this, this will still close by crunching these in here, but I want you to notice I had to lay them with the caps on one side with the caps up and the other side with the caps down. Some I had to go with two because this plastic slot was stretching out. I couldn't put three every single one. So you can see here I had two, here I had two. So I kind of had to skip and do three, skip three, two, three, two, three, two, so on and so forth. But they fit, these all fit perfectly. So I was able to, you know, get all my stash in here, which I was so happy about. So anytime I want a watercolor, I can just come to this pencil case and I can choose if I wanna use my watercolor pencils or my real brush pens, everything is in here perfectly. So then when I wanna close it up, I just need to make sure that all my slots are on the inside and then just zip up. And again, here I'm just gonna have to pull this part out, which is no big deal, to make sure it's over top of those slots and close that up. And look at that, that is so perfect for all of those coloring mediums. Nice, sturdy case, I love this. Now, I do wanna show you, because you all might have other markers or pencils or whatever that you might wanna store. This one I'm actually gonna put my colored pencils. I have the 120 set of Arteza color pencils and I'm going to fill this one up with that. But I wanted to show you really quick. I have some Copic markers and you can put your Copics in here. I'm not quite sure how many it will hold because I haven't filled it up and I'm not planning on using this for Copics, but I just wanna show you if you do have Copics. You can put here, I have two per slot. Now, I don't know if you can put two per slot across the whole thing because you might be stretching these slots out a little bit, but we will see. I'm just gonna, I'm taking just some of my grays and putting them in here. So it looks like here I'm able to get two per slot. It is tight, I will say that. It is very tight and I think now I'm, well, let's see. Yeah, I can still squeeze them in. So it looks like the Copics fit if you try to do two per slot. Like I said though, because these Copics are so um, wide, it's just taking up a lot more room. So I have other storage that I use for my Copics and I'm not gonna be using these zipper pouches, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, if you are, were looking for something for Copics, you can possibly use these, but I'm not sure how many you can actually get in here and with it to close as well. I do have some Spectrum Noir markers. You can possibly store these in here, but you'd only get one per slot. So if there are 64 slots, you'd only be able to get about 64 markers, but because these are so thick, 
and you can see that the dimension of these is much taller than a pencil would be. I don't know how it would be to actually close this with all 64 in here. You might, you might end up with some issues, especially because if you would be storing them on this side and then you would obviously then want to put some on this side and then to close them, you might have some issues with the thickness. Um, just because they are so thick. So I don't know if you'd actually be able to get 64 full Spectrum Noir markers in here or if you'd be limited just because of the thickness. But definitely if you have colored pencils or watercolored pencils, this definitely is an awesome case. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this case with all of my 120 colored pencils and I'll be back and show you what that looks like. So here you can see I added all of my 120 pack of colored pencils to my black and white case. And you can see how nicely they all fit in here and I still have some slots left to put additional things. This was the Arteza 120 count. It was their largest count of colored pencils that they have, and they all fit in here very nicely. So I am super pleased with these pencil cases. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down in the description box the links for these products in case you're interested in purchasing these pencil cases. And there's also a code that will save you 10%. And I will list that in the description box in case you are interested in these. And if you're interested in seeing my other reviews for Arteza colored pencils, watercolored pencils, real brush pens, their Everblend markers, I will link all of those videos down below in case you wanna check those out. So thanks for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.